Paper, it's so common we hardly notice it, yet this simple material underpins our lives. Books carry stories across centuries, drawings capture a child's imagination, important documents seal agreements and record history. But have you ever stopped to think about where paper comes from? What is its journey from a tree in the forest to the page you hold in your hand? It all begins with trees, these silent giants that provide us with so much. But not just any tree will do. Paper making requires specific types of trees, often softwoods like spruce, pine, or fir. These trees, carefully chosen and harvested, embark on a fascinating transformation. This is not a tale of reckless consumption, but one of careful balance. Sustainable forestry practices ensure that for every tree harvested, new ones are planted, allowing forests to thrive for generations to come. Imagine a tree, its roots deep in the earth, its branches reaching for the sky. This tree, carefully selected, is harvested and begins its journey to becoming paper. But first, it must be transformed into a raw material called pulp. The logs are transported to a paper mill where they undergo a process called debarking. The bark, no longer needed, is often used as fuel to power the mill. This efficient use of resources is a key part of sustainable paper making. The debarked logs are then chipped into small pieces, ready for the next stage of their transformation. Pulping. This process breaks down the wood chips into a fibrous slurry, the very essence of paper. Pulping, the heart of paper making, transforms wood chips into a versatile slurry. There are two primary methods, mechanical and chemical, each with its own advantages. Mechanical pulping, a more energy-intensive process, grinds the wood chips against rotating stones. This method yields a high volume of pulp, making it cost-effective. However, the resulting paper, though suitable for newspapers and magazines, tends to be weaker and yellows more quickly over time. Chemical pulping, while using fewer trees for the same amount of pulp, involves a more complex process. Wood chips are cooked in a chemical solution, dissolving lignin, the substance that binds wood fibers together. This method produces a stronger, brighter paper, ideal for books, writing paper, and other durable applications. Now imagine the pulp, a mixture of wood fibers and water flowing like a river of potential. This is where the magic truly happens. The pulp is first cleaned and screened to remove any remaining impurities. It is then bleached, if necessary, to achieve the desired brightness. Next, the pulp is fed into a massive machine that spreads it evenly onto a moving wire mesh. As the water drains away, the fibers intertwine, forming a continuous sheet. This delicate sheet is then pressed between rollers to remove any remaining water and to ensure a smooth, uniform surface. The journey is nearly complete. The damp sheet of paper travels through a series of heated rollers where it is dried and pressed to achieve its final thickness and texture. Finally, the paper is wound onto large reels, ready to be cut, packaged and shipped to its final destination.